I like the medicines, but it's not my life. I think it's a great job and I really like to have a job that implies people and I really love my job and I would I wouldn't change. But if one day I don't feel comfortable with the medicine, I will change and maybe I would really <laughs> do an artistic thing because I really want to change myself every day. Hello, my name is Elin Perez and you're listening to Are You an Artist? Today's episode is with Victoria Gobert, who speaks about ice cream truck, saving lives and making clothes. So yes, a very rich episode in which we laughed. I even cried when Vico, as I call her, spoke about her patients in the hospital. You can probably tell that we are very close friends, so be our friend and listen to the inspiring Victoria Gobert. Okay, are you ready to speak in English? I am so ready. Are you excited to speak in English? Uh. <laughs> in this? <laughs> I am uh, medium excited. <laughs> In the um, morning. Okay, so you know the podcast, so you know that I will start to read a letter. Okay, <laughs> just read a letter. <laughs> just read. Dear Vico, since we were in high school, you knew that you wanted to become a doctor. But amongst all the medical students, you were always the one questioning everything, also curious to go off the path when it helped you to learn more. I know that you are particularly interested in neurology, that you love to discover new things about the body, but I also recently realized how creative you had to be in this field where there is a lot of unknown and you just have to listen, observe and improvise. As you are probably the most creative doctor I ever met, also with a lot of style, and as one of the brightest, most intelligent women I ever met, I want to ask you this question. Vico, are you an artist? Uh, I think, yes, I am an artist, but I am an artist in like a medium artist. <laughs> just because I touch a lot of fields, but just for fun. <laughs> like, yeah, you also like to draw. Yeah, I like to draw. I like painting also. I like sewing. I like dancing. But I think I touch a lot of things because just curiosity. I like to learn, I think. Have you always been like this, like curious or? Yeah, I think when I was a child, I was really, really creative. Like I always have a lot of things like uh, doing candles, like the, the pack for doing candles by myself, doing perfume, doing like mandala, like blow pens and something like that. Oh, when I was blow a child, pens! I was, <laughs> yeah, it was my life, the I blow rem pens. I remember that. <laughs> It I, was so good. I remember you had to blow in this pen and then it would yeah. like, oh, wow. And that was uh, like mandala things. And it was so satisfying. Like, I, I really love that. And I think when my parents uh, give me like gifts, it's always uh, something to do with my hand, like artistic thing. Yeah. Like I do a lot of uh, jewelry, like, yeah, I do a lot of things with my hands. Ah, I also have a pyrography, like something you have to burn in the wood to do some drawing in the woods with something What's hot. This? Uh, it's something warm and you just uh, burn some woods and like do some drawings in the woods. In the tree? Uh, not tree, like... <laughs> Like, uh, you woods, like uh, some furniture in woods ah, like or something a, a, to... A wooden table, for example. Yeah, just decorative things. Like you can draw some flowers and... Uh, uh, With a knife? In the shelters. It's not a knife. It's really warm thing. Okay. And you just burn and drawing. Wow. I have that when I was a child. Maybe it was dangerous. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> But I really have done a lot of drawing in uh, my grandparents' house and something. When I was uh, in the countryside, it was really satisfying. Aww. So I was really an artist when I was a child. And I really think that if I wasn't a doctor, 
I will be an artist, but I don't know what type <laughs> of arts I can choose, I think. A personalized style. Yeah. I don't know how to say styler. Personal shopper, I think, in oh, English. Yeah. But I, I like to do savings, like do some really luxury savings. I really hmm. like that. And <laughs> how, how do you define artist? What's an artist? Wow. It's really hard questions. <laughs> you didn't tell me that I have a lot of questions. <laughs> I mean, it's like an exam. <laughs> it, doesn't, it doesn't have to be like a super like deep answer. It's just like what, what comes stress. <laughs> what right comes now. to your mind when you think about artists? Like, uh, when I think about artists, I really think of you. I think <laughs> you are really my definition of artist. Like you are so creative, and you have your primary art is dance, but you have a lot of curiosity in a lot of things. And every time we, every time I call you, you just tell me, "Oh, I write a book. Oh, I dance. Oh, I will sing. Oh, I will do the ukulele." So I think artist is more that, more like. A kind of mind, like you are so curious of everything, but it's not like, it's not a solid thing. It's not something we can touch and just, oh, I buy art and yeah. it's, it's just in movement and yeah. just for the soul, you know? It's beautiful. And you are really an artist. You, have my, <laughs> you are my definition <laughs> of artist, really. And what's your first creative memory? Mm. The very, very first. Uh, I think my first, uh, when I was a child, uh, my parents doesn't want to know if I was a boy or a girl. So my chamber was a uh, zoo team. Like the wallpaper was uh, a lot of animals yeah. like in the zoo. Yeah. And like kind of gender neutral yeah, in a way. Yeah. It was a really gender neutral and uh, it was really... Uh, a white wallpaper with all animals mm -hmm. and uh, there is giraffe <laughs> on the wall and uh, I really love giraffe. <laughs> yes, that's why you so, love giraffe so much. Yeah, I think it was really my first uh, animal that I remember and uh, when I was a child, I think my first memories is when I drew on the wall a ah. lot of animals but I was really like free. So, so you could draw on the wall. No, I couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> no, I couldn't, but I did it. I really did it. You broke the rules. <laughs> so I really <laughs> drew uh, uh, on the wall some uh, animals and I drew like giraffes, but it was a good memories. Wow. And my parents like were like, okay, but just, Don't do that in the house. So <laughs> I just do that in my chamber. <laughs> and yeah, I think it was my first memories because it was really my, my chamber was I was really, really little, like three years old. Mm, that's wow. And I really like to draw. And for three years old, it was not so bad. <laughs> What? Do you have pictures? Uh, I don't know. Okay. I don't think. I, we can I think I have pictures, but uh, like in papers okay. in my parents' house. Mm -hmm. But it was fun, but hmm. it was not permitted. <laughs> <laughs> And do you remember what you wanted to do when you were a child? Um, Your like future job? <laughs> I want to be a, a nice cream Seller, I don't know the word in English. Yes, yes. Yeah, when I, when I was really little, uh, I go a lot in, in England with my family because my mother is an English teacher. And uh, we go a lot in England when I was a child. And I really, I really like ice cream. Like, it's my life. Yes. <laughs> ice cream. Yes. And uh, in France, there's no ice cream uh, in winter. Uh, it's not. It's not something we do. It's not something we hit Uh, old old year yeah <laughs> really is for summer and uh really when i came in england i was fascinated by the fact that there is ice cream sealers in in truck yeah they came uh out the schools and uh, in winter and every day <laughs> <laughs> so when i was a child i really want to be an ice cream sealer in a truck but uh I really choose the truck. Like it was the same truck uh, as uh, Scooby Doo, the cartoon, <laughs> yes, the green yeah, this one. truck, like uh, the Scooby Doo one, and for ice cream, it wow. was really defined <laughs> as wow. a project of life. And when when did it stop? 
Uh, I think it stopped when I was uh, nine, ten years old, I think. Like, and okay. then I was, I wanted to be a doctor. It's crazy. I never wanted to be something else. I have a hesitation about mm -hmm. veterinary, but uh, I'm so scared of dogs, so <laughs> I <laughs> just not. I want to be a vet for giraffe only, <laughs> so it doesn't really work as a project of life. I so think. you wanted to heal either giraffes or human beings. Yeah, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> not dogs. But uh, oh. maybe I think uh, I would like to have a, a shop of ice cream, like... Well, when now I, you live in Nice, I will so... be a doctor. Yeah, yeah. I choose the French River to maybe have an ice cream mix, shop. Both. And maybe, maybe you can maybe... give uh, ice cream to your patients. Yeah, I think maybe it would be cool. <laughs> not really productive, <laughs> but I really like uh, when it's really fruits and no sugar added. So <laughs> maybe <laughs> it could wow. be. But uh, maybe when I will be uh, retired, yeah, I will do that. I will buy a truck and. <laughs> Sell ice cream. <laughs> I think I will do that. <laughs> wow, that's so nice. And do you know why you wanted to become a doctor? Um, that's really a big question because I'm not sure. I think I really liked my uh, doctor, my family doctor. It was really nice and I have no fear of going to the doctor. I really like him. So, and I was really sick when I was a child, like Every week I go to the doctor. I always have uh, something wrong. <laughs> oh, wow. Not, uh, it was not um, an AV problem, but I always see him like every week mm -hmm. uh, between uh, my four and my 10 years old, like every week, I okay. think. And I really like him. It was, he, he really was really nice. And, uh, and I have no fear of going to him like uh, mm. the other child were, were oh, like crying, crying and yeah. everything and I was like okay <laughs> hello <laughs> I was really happy to Super see him happy. and uh, also my grandfather was sick when I was like seven or eight years old so it was uh, he, he were in hospital a lot so I see him I felt my not my first memories but you know when when your memories of child like seven Mm. Um, my first memories was him in the hospital and and uh, I really enjoyed to see him at hospital. Mm. Like my family was really sad and where they were like stressed to go to the hospital and I was not like for me it was positive. I, I'm going to see my grandfather. So it wow. was a nice day because I, I'm going to see my grandfather. It was not the hospital thing. Okay. And I really liked to be there in the hmm. hospital with my grandfather and I don't have a, like a bad memories or a trauma to go to the hospital for that. And also I think my great grandmother was uh, in a retired house. I don't know the word in English, but uh, the house yeah, when yeah. Uh, all people Elderly lived. Elderly people, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, and uh, I came a lot to see her there. And I really enjoyed uh, to uh, to push the wheelchair and wow. to speak with the nurse. And uh, I was, like, my family was shocked because I was a child and... And I was like natural in this, <laughs> in this field, like I really like to go there. And uh, I, oh, I always liked all people now also <laughs> because I really like to work uh, now with uh, old people and people with dementia. I really liked and I enjoyed the discussion with them. And uh, when I was a child, I, <laughs> I enjoyed it too. So it wasn't a fear. And maybe it's why I'm going to see to be a doctor. Because I really liked to see people, to help people, I think. And I feeling home at hospital, really. Wow. Like it's not stressful for me. I'm not, uh, that's incredible. <laughs> and, <laughs> and that's really like bizarre because my family is quite anxious. Like my mother, my father, my brother, really. They don't like it. Yeah, they don't like hospitals. Like mm. they go if they, they are really bad, but they don't like hospitals. Yeah, if they like, can avoid it, they, they don't are already go. they are not uh, in the in the healthcare, mm. and they don't like it at all. <laughs> like, mm. 
it's really complicated. And so when you studied medicine, was it like, um, like, did you feel like it was the same as you expected or did you discover new things? Of course you discovered new things. But yeah. Um, I think, uh, everyone tell me that the first year, I don't know for the English people, uh, because it's not the same system. I think, uh, in French, uh, there is, uh, a competition, yes. an exam kind of. Yeah, it's quite... At the end of first year. Yeah, it's not uh, the same thing that in, in England, you just uh, apply to the university and you came in medicine uh, if you are... Uh, yeah, if you are accepted taken before. Yeah. In. And in France, uh, we are a lot uh, in the first year of medicines and only like 10%, 10 can go to the second year. So it was really stressful. And I don't know, I, when I came... Uh, I know that the first years will be really hard, but I want to do that and mm -hmm. it will be okay. I will do that. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I was really self-confident in, in for, for these years and, <laughs> and, uh, like it's not my personality in, in the, in the everyday. I think I'm not really self-confident, but for my studies, I was really, okay, I want to do that and I will do that. And it was my mantra all these years. Mm. And I have done that. <laughs> I'm really proud of that, but uh, it was hard. And then all the years, uh, like I mean, like now it's been uh, nine years yes. <laughs> now <laughs> that I'm uh, in medicines. And uh, I still have uh, one year to be really a doctor. Mm -hmm. So I think... Uh, In all that years, I discover a lot of things, but uh, I think the most hard is to be like in the life of the of people and in their lives and in their death also. Mm -hmm. I think that was the thing that I don't expected as a child. I was like, I'm going to be a doctor to save people. And I have learned also to let go people and... Yeah. It's also a beautiful thing, but sometimes it's hard because hmm. I feel like uh, not useless, but it's hard to let go people and also say to me like it was a good thing and it was what the people expect to me now. Okay, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> <laughs> Helene is gonna cry. I've never cried for a podcast, my God. <laughs> And I think it's like uh, when we discussed about personal things and yeah, I think when I was a child, doctors doesn't mean that to me and now it's mean that, but yeah. And uh, I work in gynecology now, so I have a lot of uh, mother or mother to be that lost their child and it's just hard, but... But it's life. the part of the, yeah. of the job. And I think I do my part of their life too. And that's okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we lost Eileen. <laughs> so she cried, I want to cry. <laughs> um, okay, let's just uh, speak about something. <laughs> let's just avoid. About something else about death. <laughs> let's, let's avoid death. Please avoid death. <laughs> But actually my next question was also... Have you always been interested in fashion and dressing up? Because yeah. that's also a big part of your life. Like your yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. So it's, um, I think my mother is a fashionista. Like, you know, my mother is quite... Yes, that's really true. Fashion. Uh, <laughs> so when I was really a child, uh, my mother has always uh, sell me like clothes uh like original way ah. so when i was really a child uh i have clothes not the same as my my friend so maybe it was awkward or i was oh and now <laughs> <laughs> now i realized that i was a uh, really stylish child because my mother has uh, some taste <laughs> really <laughs> and uh i don't know i think um uh, like in my uh 10 to 14 years old, I was like, no style because 
It was the, the age that we follow the others. So we just follow the fashion. Especially in France, it's super yeah. like boring. It's like dark blue or yeah. black. Yeah, French is really boring in terms of colors. Like, so I think I have my colors. phase of following uh, the others to just uh, erase myself. Like we were in, in a group and I think at this age, we all do that. Then, uh, but I think when I was like, yeah, uh, in, in college or... Yeah, 14 years old, I really changed and I don't remember if Helen, uh, yeah, Helen and I just uh, met at 14. Yeah. And uh, I don't know if you remember me at 14, but uh, I think I just beginning to exp express myself with my clothes. And uh, I think in the lycée, so in like when I was uh, 15, I was really not the style of some from someone else. No, like you I was were really like super different. Bright and colorful, and I really like that. I really like uh, flowers. I really like to have a lot of bright things, mm -hmm. and I really like to not be in the group. Maybe it was uh, like my uh, crisis, my adolescent <laughs> crisis. But now I really like to have some pieces, but not from the others. Just express yeah. myself with my clothes and. I really like that. And I like people who had uh, like really a style of them. Yeah. I don't really like every style because sometimes uh, you just saw someone in the, in the street and just, wow, this style is so good for her or for him. And I really like that. Mm -hmm. And uh, I just think it's, it's so good to express myself. I started sewing when I was 14, I think. I really start when I was 14. And when I was a child, my my grandmother told me how to to sewing and to do uh, I don't know the word in English for tricoter. Montage Eline, tricoter is to knit. And I really bought my first uh, sewing machine at like 14. Wow. And we really do my my clothes at uh, 15, and uh, it was my dance clothes, and then some dresses, and then something else and I just uh, I have lost uh, this part when I was in medical studies yeah <laughs> I had no time for that but uh, yeah I lost my grandmother last year's and uh, I've taken uh, my grandmother machine with It's me there in the in, in room. Nice so uh -huh. I am starting again so if you want to order some clothes You can contact uh, Vico. <laughs> at vico.com. It's going to be very expensive because I also take a commission. <laughs> so. And um, also, like, back to being a doctor. <laughs> uh, how do you feel, like, when you discover something new or, like, yeah, when you have a new discovery? What's I'm really excited. I think I'm, uh, for a doctor, I'm really curious. Uh, my friends, it's uh, not laughing at me. It's uh, it's. A big word, but you know, <laughs> the thing I'm weird because uh, I really liked uh, the area of medicine that are unknown, yes. like to search a new things. I really like neurology for that because we have so many things to know about the brain, and it's uh, in medicine area there are so plenty of things that haven't been discovered, and it's just the beginning of that, mm. and it just explain so many things in the in in the character of people and we have so many things to discover and I really like also uh, medicine interne it's like uh, the same specialty that uh, Dr House <laughs> also <laughs> no Dr House it's like when some someone has so many symptoms and no one can so can, can see what he what happened yeah. and I really like uh Like in my <laughs> in my medical studio, I really like uh, to have patients like that because I really like to ask questions, search, search, search to explain the things. And maybe there is no explanation now, but I really like to search, search and discover new things. And I'm really curious uh, at everything in medicine. So I couldn't have chosen um, a specialty with one Uh, organs like cardiology mm, or yeah. just one thing because I really like everything. everything and I think every day I change my mind about what I want to do in medicines. I liked the research uh, also and 
yeah, I think I'm, I'm quite curious because my friends, like when, I, <laughs> when I'm when i in the emergency room, uh, I really ask too many questions <laughs> and mm. my chief is, uh, were like, uh, just do that. And I was <laughs> really like, no, I want to choose everything. Like, I want to know really what happened. <laughs> <laughs> So we are just we are just okay, just do that. But <laughs> so I'm quite uh, maybe I push myself too hard. Yeah, I think sometimes, but uh, I cannot sleep if I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> if I haven't searched uh, further, I cannot sleep. Like it's it's just uh, uh, frustrating. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> I like that. <laughs> well, that's why I like you also. Like it's kind of. <laughs> It's a bit sexy, you know, like when someone is super curious and really has questions and, and yeah, don't take things for granted also. I think it's important, I guess, in medicine because sometimes like people, I guess doctors can also assume things because they don't have the time or something. But yeah. if you just do one more, I remember once you told me a story about a patient and you really pushed to do this, uh, I don't know if it was a scan or something, and then it really helped to actually discover what was happening, so... Yeah, I really pushed. I think <laughs> if you had me as a doctor, I will ask a lot of questions. <laughs> like, I'm really uh, pushed forward. Like, uh, have you been in South America in <laughs> eight years ago? <laughs> because I think you might have like, uh, like a chikungunya thing. So I really search further because uh, I think there is always an explanation, maybe uh, hmm. not the objective one, but we have to search. Mm. And I really like this area of medicines. And it was, I think, in my career, I don't like to have a, a boring day. Or uh, yeah, I don't when you feel do the secure same thing of, all the time, right? I think I have to be insecure to progress because I don't, I don't want to do uh, every day the same thing and to be on my uh, base like and just don't safe move. Zone and... Like, it's safe, but I am... I'm. I don't want a boring day. Yeah. Uh, I it's it's cool to be safe. Like now that I am more a doctor than I was, mm. uh, I enjoy this safe place of I know what happened and it's easy than before and it's quite reassuring. Like oh wow, it was a good day. Everything was okay. Now I have the 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 knowings of everything, but. Um, I have to change myself every day yeah. because uh, I like the medicines, but it's not my life. I think mm. it's a great job and I really like to have a job that implies people and I really love my job and I, would, I wouldn't change. But if one day I don't feel myself uh, comfortable with the medicine, I will change and maybe I would really <laughs> do something <laughs> do completely an artistic different. thing because I really want to change myself every day and I think if I became boring I have to change <laughs> like I, I can let you know if you become boring <laughs> <laughs> yes <laughs> and do you prefer to work on your own or with people um ah oh, that's a tough question um I think that's Really a change for me to work in a team because uh, I have I am so perfectionist that it's really hard for me to uh, see people who don't do the job well. Yeah, like <laughs> to delegate uh, the the work and to share the work because I think it's hard for me to see if the other people don't do the work uh, not as good. It's not as good, but as good as for me, yeah. like in the same uh, thing that I would do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's hard for me to share the work. But uh, I think as a doctor, I have the chance that uh, I do my work and I just have my team to do their work too. And we just all do our work mm -hmm. and, our, and the, uh, our part of the work. So I think I like to work as a team uh, because... When I am really alone, I'm quite sad. <laughs> I'm. It's not so challenging when you are alone in your your cabinet on something. Uh, it's peaceful because you change your your time. You have 
many pause, you have mm. uh, less distraction. But I think I, w I like to work as a team, but uh, with good it's people. challenging for me because uh, maybe I'm quite need, uh, perfectionist, maybe but you just it's, need it's a good calmed team, me down. Right? <laughs> you need a good team, that's all. Yeah, I need a good team, <laughs> but I like to work as a team. I like to work at the at hospital now because uh, I think it's the vibe push us to be... Better. Yeah, to become better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There is something that. And you see a lot of people. Also, you have more patients. Like in the hospital, there are a lot of people came in the hospital from everywhere, from every background. Mm. So you see uh, different patients. I think mm -hmm. more than if you were in town in your mm. in your room. <laughs> mm. And is there something that you created that you are very proud of? Uh, wow. Um, I'm quite proud of what I do in sewing. Like I do my dance uh, juste au corps. Montage Eline juste au corps is leotard. Shame on me! I did a three years dance training in London and could not even remember that. Bad memory. My first dance costume I, I do, I was really proud because uh, it's uh, just uh, satisfying when you present your dance uh, choreography with your own dance costume that you do yourself it was just hmm. feeling like wow all, all is by myself and that's me with my costume that I do by myself yeah. and uh, I was really proud when I do that but uh, I think uh, I'm not really proud of me a lot of time in my life <laughs> <laughs> uh, like I, I like I said before I'm not I have a quite a problem to be proud of myself maybe I'm too hard with myself yeah I think so but uh, I don't know I think um, in my artistic way uh, I'm quite I enjoy that uh, I I do watercolor and uh, hmm. I like to just enjoy myself but I don't know if I'm really proud of it <laughs> but uh, now I don't care when I was younger I was really Um, stressed or anxious about what people would think about my drawing, about uh, what I do. And now I just do it for myself and I'm okay. If it's not really like good or accepted, I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. It's just for me. That's so empowering in a way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. But you're not depending on people to say, yes, it is good. I had the same thing. I always wanted people to tell me, wow. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And Because when they don't, you're like, what? Yeah. <laughs> you're so hurt. <laughs> yeah, it's just like uh, the same thing that uh, we do in Instagram. Like we post something and mm -hmm. we just want people like, love it, love it, love it. It just, <laughs> it takes me time to do that. Just love it. And now I'm just, okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I just do it and I like it. Oh. And uh, I, I'm really in that phase and I'm happy with that. That's nice. The problem in medicine area It's like, it's always a competition. Hmm. So it's quite hard because like five years of practicing and competition, it's quite difficult to remove that competition, remove that, uh, like patterns in your life. And uh, I just try to not have my patterns uh, now, but uh, hmm. it's quite difficult. Hmm. And what type of artworks interest you? Um... I think, uh, like, dance. I really like dance always because mm. you are my artist, my favorite <laughs> artist. Thank you. Uh, but uh, I think uh, I always like uh, paintings. Uh, when I was a child, I really liked to go to a museum. And, uh, like, I really like that when I was a child. Like, my parents were okay. <laughs> <laughs> She's a weird child. <laughs> <laughs> like, I was really like that when I was little, like 10 years old. I was really sensitive oh, wow. about that. I really like that. And I really like paintings of the 18th century, like the wow. Impressionism and, and everything. I really like, like, Van Gogh, uh, Monet. I really like that. Like, when I came to the museum, I can just stand uh, right in front of paintings, like, 20 minutes, just saying nothing. I just think, like... It's en envoting and yeah. like fascinating and just attract me. Oh, wow. There. And uh, 
I really like painting. I think it's my favorite arts. But I want to try photography. Like mm, we went to an yesterday, exhibition we went to an exposition of photography, and I really like photography. Just another note here: the exhibition we went to was of Henri Domant, the Manhattan Darkroom. If you want to check it out, uh, it is in the podcast notes as usual. Like uh, the President podcast with Kilian. Oh yes, reference uh, to the podcast just, with Kilian. Yeah, <laughs> I really like photography. I think. That represents a lot of pe of people and you just do Capture, a shot of yeah. what happens. And I think in the photography, you can see a lot of things uh, like the atmosphere, what people think, what people feel. It's hmm. just amazing, I think, to do big photography. Like, I really like that, but uh, I have no camera, so <laughs> I will <haven't> try, <laughs> but maybe I will try because uh, in the French River, there is so many yeah, beautiful, beautiful things. It's just the colors are so mm. bright and people are so fascinating. Also, there's a lot of people who came from everywhere and I like that. Hmm. Hmm. And I like, I will come to London to take photos. Yes. <laughs> Again. So if you want to meet Vico in London, <laughs> yeah. eat some ice cream. <laughs> with my truck <laughs> and if you have also illness that <laughs> all together you know? like a consultation <laughs> with ice cream <laughs> the dream like the dream is there <laughs> for diabetes <laughs> and um, as a human being what is your strength mm. Mm, good questions um uh, I think my strength is to be patient. I think yes. I'm really like listening. I think as a person, I'm I'm quite uh, patient and maybe I try not to judge. I think uh, I really listen to everyone and I hope that uh, people just feel comfortable with me. Because I really try to have no judgment at all. Just and this is this is really something I learned caring. from you in high school. Like I did, I could have put it in the letter also that I really be, when I became friends with you, you were like the only high school girl <laughs> who never said anything bad about anyone. And this is so rare, especially in our school. I feel like there was yeah. so much judgment and how you dress up and are you also bright enough, clever enough? Because people were like geniuses in this class. Yeah. <laughs> And like you were like really not judging anyone, and that I was like, I, I think I want to be friend with someone like this. Ah. So. <laughs> <laughs> so cute. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think, yeah, you're right. When I was in high school, I was not judging. I don't like when someone just say something, just criticize for no reasons, and just, it just, uh, it can hurt someone and just don't do It's just anything. mean. Yeah, it just. Don't do that. Yeah, it just mean and. It just uh, um, it it just uh, bring no progress for the human being to do that. <laughs> like we just don't care, and it just mean and yeah. Like now, when you say like uh, work as a team, I really don't like when you work with a team and everyone criticize everyone and just uh, pretend like it was okay and it was not okay. It's not okay to criticize everyone and just try to work together it's not a way of working <laughs> together i really don't like that but i think it's yeah <laughs> i really i think my strength is that that uh yeah i'm really open people like i'm here if you want to talk to me and i won't <laughs> Even talk to anyone else psychologists they come <laughs> yeah. and they tell you their life yeah. <laughs> because you listen <laughs> Yeah, in the I hospital. Think, I think people like uh, I don't know. Like people, I really don't know who they are. And maybe you just uh, have a, having a drink with a lot of people, and the people don't know me. And uh, I just say hi, and they just bring all their lives to me. Sometimes and it's a bit some much. awkward situations, and I'm just here, like okay, <laughs> I don't know what to do with this information. And uh, yeah, I have to tell Helene some, yeah, some, some awkward and funny stories and huh? funny stories about some patient just told me things that <laughs> it was 
like not in the team, but uh, I just ask a question, like medical questions, and and some and <laughs> the, the lady just told me uh, her husband was uh, was cheating her with some ladies. I think we're not allowed to say that though. No, identity. I just I don't say the identity, okay. so you could just say okay. it. And, <laughs> and you also know, it's in English. like <laughs> a woman who's been cheating by her husband may is not uh it's quite common, so <laughs> That's I don't think it's so common. <laughs> it could be anyone. <laughs> it's sad, but it could be anyone. Yeah. True. But yeah, I think uh people like to tell me story. But <laughs> I like to listen. That's good then. <laughs> Good match. <laughs> and is there anything you would like to be better at? Mm, I think I have to be better uh, on myself. Like, uh, I'm really hard with myself. Like, if I have to describe myself, I will really be negative and wow. really try to not to be. But some days I really... That's so incredible because you're so positive about other people. Yeah. Do you know why yeah, you're so harsh with yourself? I don't know, but I think I'm really harsh because if someone hurt me, I really think that it was me, the problems. Mm. Like the people hurt me and I was, and I'm like, instantly I'm, I'm okay, that was me, the problem. So crazy. I'm so bad and he's right to hurt me because... Hmm. Um, I'm <laughs> and I really try not to do this uh, pattern again yeah, but don't. it's hard because uh, I really have a bad image of myself like it's the wrong image of myself because if you want like physically and mentally like uh, I'm hard but I'm really trying to be more self-confident and in my work I really progress in that mm. I feel more uh, comfortable and more accurate to have my place. Mm. And uh, I think I'm not, I'm not being mean. I'm not mean, but uh, I'm less shy than I was before. Yeah, to say things. Like I say, say things no. now, yeah. just like when something really, don't, uh, really goes wrong for me, I just tell mm. the people, like, in the polite way, but now I can tell. Mm. Before I just uh, keep my for myself and yeah. go away. <laughs> <laughs> and now I uh, I try to tell people when it goes wrong for me. But uh, I really have to do progress for myself mm. to be more positive for me. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> and is there anything that scares you? <laughs> well, uh, well, you're not scared of hospitals, so that's something. Uh, I'm really scared of a lot of things. I one, really, one thing? Um, to give trust, I think. Hmm. Like, I really have an issue of trusting people for me. Like, uh, I think with you, because I really have trust, but... When I meet new people, Takes I'm quite uh, shy. It's not shy, but quite cold. Hmm. Or I don't see the signs, but I really uh, take my time to open because I am so, I'm so, I am a lot of fears of being hurt. So I prefer not to talk to them or not open at all yeah. because I have really trust issues I think <laughs> which I can understand <laughs> <laughs> like really really but uh, I have a lot of fears <laughs> but I think it's normal yeah I think it's quite sane yeah <laughs> <laughs> and what's your strongest <laughs> desire in life mm, it's quite uh, common I just want to be happy like like not happy every day because I don't think we can be happy like Every 20, day. 24 hours, 24 hours, it's not, but I just want to be like, uh, clear with myself, like, oh, today it's okay. And I have no regrets or no, nothing that I think, uh, like guilty of, like, mm. uh, I think, we, yeah, most of the is to have a situation that I loved and no regrets and no 
guilty things or yeah like i have done i don't want to hurt people and feel guilty mm. after so i think the most desire is that mm. and have a giraffe like uh, I really want, I really want to have a giraffe, <laughs> but I know in France the giraffe will be like sad. So I will try to go to like. Can you? You know, sometimes you can be like the godmother of uh, an animal or something. Yeah, uh, I have. Uh, I am the godmother of Joseph. It's a giraffe <laughs> oh, <laughs> in a zoo right? of Beauval in France. Oh wow! And uh, it was the gift of my parents for my 18th oh, birthday. Wow. Uh, yeah, I am the godmother of And what the does giraffe. it mean? Uh, <laughs> Not very much. Um, I have an email to tell me when uh, giraffe were born of when there's new thing uh, oh. of the giraffe and uh, I think my parents uh, give like a lot a lot of money <laughs> I don't know the, the, the price but they give money and uh, the money came to go to an association oh, uh, nice. to help giraffe like in South Africa oh. and uh, I have uh, a t-shirt with a giraffe <laughs> as a gift <laughs> <laughs> okay. So okay, good. I need to describe quickly uh, Vico's flat. You've got a, a giraffe cushion, yeah. a giraffe, huge giraffe teddy bear. Yeah, uh, Gertrude. Gertrude. <laughs> <laughs> Lot of uh, yeah, giraffe things around. <laughs> yeah, I really love giraffe. Huh. I really love giraffe because it's it's so peaceful for it. Like it's it's Apparently really it can uh, be violent. Mm, they are they are violent. Uh, like when two males. Uh, uh, so that's okay. Yeah, it's like two males of giraffe, but it's quite non-violent. And it's like vegetarian things. Huh? Just hit, <laughs> it's just, uh, just hit uh, like plants, <laughs> and it's uh, like they are all uh, overs. Like we just see the world from from such a high place. Yeah. Side. So just feel huh. okay. I really like to be a giraffe. Like see the savanna from upper style. <laughs> So I don't have to ask uh, the question, what's your favorite animal? Or yeah, if you're an animal, animal, you would be a giraffe. giraffe. Yeah, that's like, so true. No hesitation. <laughs> no hesitation. <laughs> and do you want to be liked or approved and by who? Oh, it's tough. Uh, it's really tough, as a question. Um, I can say like a celebrity or something, but uh, I think... It, it, I want to be like approved by my parents or my family, hmm. like, and uh, I am approved by my family. So I know that they will love me and they are proud of me, of what became. But uh, I think I still have this childish uh, need in a way. Yeah, like childish thing that I am anxious about what my parents will feel, and if my parents will be hurt if I do something they mm. don't. Like it, I think the approval of my parents is really important. Uh, like, if uh, if I meet someone and my parents just say, "Okay, I think this person is quite not for you," or and I think, like, yeah, their approval will will count on me. Mm. And uh, my friends too. Like, if my friends say, um, "I don't feel right with this guy," mm -hmm. it's really important for me because. Uh, I think they say they know more than me what is better for me. Uh -huh. <laughs> 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 if you say that, there is a problem. And uh, yeah, but if I have to say a celebrity who approve me, oh, I don't know. Michelle Obama. Yeah, I will like Michelle Obama. <laughs> yeah, I will. I will. Yeah, I will say like a strong woman. I will say uh, Simone Veil, but she died. But. Her For ghost? the English way, you will search with Simon Bay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, who do the, the listener need to search for? Simon Bay, Simon de Beauvoir? Right, yeah. Like, yeah. Uh, But Simon Bay, Simon de Beauvoir. And yeah, you can search also uh, Maya, Maya Angelou. I think you I know her. No, Maya Angelou. Yeah, I, I just read a uh, book. Uh -huh. I would give you yeah. the book. And uh, Maya Angelou just. Uh, Describe uh, what is a woman in a racial, in, in the yeah. racial America, like in in the 60s. Crazy, yeah. And uh, that's strong. I really think it's a strong woman, like, 
I really like her. Mm -hmm. And it's yeah. like uh, Cesaria Ev Evora. Mm -hmm. Like she said, the uh, so dad and her life is just incredible. Like mm. I really like her. Everything again in the references of the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Virginie Despentes. Yeah, Virginie Despentes. I don't. I don't. Did, uh, did I you don't, read it? I don't. I didn't read it, okay. but I will. Yeah, I have a do like. Yeah, I really like art. I say that I like painting, but I really like. I really like uh, books. books. Yeah. <laughs> I think books is my. It's not my favorite art, but it's. Something. I really read a lot of books, so maybe yeah. I really like books. <laughs> and uh, I have do uh, like a maniac uh, episode of uh, buy. I uh, I booked a lot of uh, books <laughs> in one month, so I have uh, like seven books to it. <laughs> but uh, a lot of books about uh, strong women and uh, feminist issue, I think. Yeah. And. Uh, I will share my books with you, Eileen. Yes, thank <laughs> and you. And Eileen shares my books. With, yeah, she shares the books with me. We do like a uh, twerk thing. And what is really funny, sometimes we buy the same books or the same authors at the same time and we don't know, like we yeah. haven't spoken to each other for like, I don't know, two months. And then we are like, oh, you bought this as well. Yeah. <laughs> it's nice. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, which is really nice because uh, when you say, uh, le yeah, like uh, Panayoti Space School, these oh, yeah. books. Like uh, Aileen just say, oh, you have to read that. It's just so fascinating. And, and I was like, yeah, I really want to buy this. Uh, it was already in my list. <laughs> yeah, pa Panayotis Pasco as well. Yeah, I think we like the same thing. Yeah. We are really the same. Yeah, we are the we same are person. We are only one person. Just, <laughs> it's a fake. <laughs> the postcard is a fake. <laughs> Aileen is just talking in the to myself. <laughs> to herself. <laughs> oh, well. What, what's your favorite color? Mm. Mm. <laughs> I really don't know myself. <laughs> um, I think it's like orange or violet, uh -huh. like uh, like violet in English is violet, purple. purple. Um, because all my in my flat everything is orange. It's not orange. It's terracotta. <laughs> terracotta, <laughs> please. <laughs> But uh, I think True. it's like peaceful, and I really like it's warm in the in my flat. But I think purple is my favorite color. Mm. I really like purple. It's quite peaceful and like reassuring and bright and rare hmm. in the in the nature. So I really like purple. I think, but I like a lot of uh, colors. I really like colors. Like, <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> I really have a lot of colors in my life. <laughs> um, do you feel like you know yourself very well? Mm. <laughs> you just say no with the color, but... Uh, yeah, uh, good questions. Mm. I think I know really better. I don't know myself uh, like 100 persons like... I have a lot of things of discover, mm -hmm. and now I'm quite curious. Like, oh, okay, uh, you enjoy that, and I don't know what would be good for me. So I am hmm. like curious about myself. Like, okay, that's okay. I like this person. Okay, why not? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I think uh, by my studies, like in medicine studies, I, I heard a lot of history of patients and they just give me their lives like they give me like intimacy like it's right so I just ask my uh, the question to myself mm. like sometimes I just do the reflection to myself like wow they tell me that if if it's it's okay for me and would I feel that way if I was in that, play, that place or that conditions and they just help me to know what I want what I don't want And I think now I really uh, know myself like really better. I mean, like in five years, I have do a, a lot of progression. In this. Yeah, you saw so, so much. So I, I guess, really, I don't years. really know myself, but I really know what I don't want hmm. now. Like I really don't know what is not okay for me. Eileen from the montage, what Vico means here is that she knows what she doesn't want, of course, and not that she doesn't know what she doesn't want. Anyway. 
And if you could see uh, your 15 years old self and say something, what would you say? Uh, you would be with, with Eline <laughs> at Nice in my flat. And it's quite wow, <laughs> because I just remember us at 15, like in class and we were just like, wow. <laughs> I mean, you saved yeah, my life you, at that time. Yeah, I think. you were so like, you were in scientific options and you do want to be a dancer <laughs> and you have your, <laughs> your, we were in math and we just don't know what we are doing there. And I would just, I want to be a doctor and you were just, I want to, <laughs> to dance. I think that was great memories, but all my great memories uh, in the high school was you. Like we just save ourselves like <laughs> mutually yeah. from these periods and I don't know what I want to say to her but I think I would just uh reassuring like that would be okay like in 10 years will be you will be at Nice with your best friend mm. and you will be a doctor and you will be okay yeah. because I was quite anxious and really like not proud of herself like I would I was uh, quite I don't know if that's shy but we just be apart like yeah. we are like uh uh not of me like aliens I, I feel yeah, like we, we were, were very aliens different from in other our people, class yeah. like uh, and I think in uh, medicine studies not now but uh I was really feeling like an alien because uh in medicine there come there are a lot of people very uh Cartesian thing like objective and very proud <laughs> guys and the first years of medicine a uh, lot of time I have asked myself like what am I doing here? Uh, I'm not in the wrong place. I, I'm I'm not in my place. Mm. Uh I'm too like too different. Too and... different. And I think if I have to tell myself at 15 I would just say to her like that's okay just be yourself and you would see <laughs> <laughs> we'll be fine <laughs> so anything new you would like to learn to do um yeah I want to do uh oh I don't know the word in English um I want to do dance but uh the dance class are close now for yeah. the year but uh, I want to try uh, uh, le cerceau aérien <gasps> Montage again again cerceau aérien is in English aerial hoop still with a bit of French accent of course and we just dance in the circle in oh, the air wow. I just feel that's really fascinating and I just want to try this because I'm just fascinated by that Sweet. like the power dance I think that's just wow like the women who do pearl dance I think they are so strong yeah that's such a strong image of the woman so I would like to try that but I think I will <laughs> I will do like one turn of myself around the pearl, the pearl bar but <laughs> I just want to try because when I see videos of ladies who do that and boys also and like it's just super empowering and I really like that also because people just uh tell negative thing about pole dance like it's just for strip and everything and I just want to do that because it's <laughs> like polemic <laughs> and I just don't care like, I don't care like, I don't care and I just I like the this so type nice. of things oh well <laughs> yeah but I want to try a lot of things huh. I have really a lot of things to try huh. and I hope I will try a lot of things I'm sure you will <laughs> <laughs> I just don't want to do speleology just a quick note again that speleology in English is actually caving. <laughs> because, because I'm claustrophobic and I have fear of black. So just don't do speleology. <laughs> Never again in my life. <laughs> okay, call to the Laputa world. Um, well, I think we are good. If you, do you want to direct people who are listening to your Instagram or... Yeah, if you want, but I have a, not a lot of thing in my Instagram because uh, <laughs> I just do picture of the of the sea in Nice. But you want to you can if you want sea. to go to but my maybe Instagram, maybe we'll have a, a photograph Instagram at some point. 
uh, yeah, I Who think knows? I think if I try photo, I will do on my Instagram. So then I will put it in and the And my notes. Instagram is like a lot of photo of uh, just uh, landscape. Uh, I don't have a lot of photo of myself, but I think I will try to uh, publish photo of myself because I don't publish because I feel uncertain of myself. So, so it would be a, a I like nice... I would like to post photo of myself just for me, like. I'm okay with my body hmm. and I really try that, but now it's too soon. <laughs> mm-hmm. oh. But yeah, if you want to go to my Instagram, it's like, uh, what is my name on Instagram? Vico, no? Vico. Like I will put it in the notes. Vico and a W. Vico. <laughs> Because uh, I'm Vico La Chips. <laughs> Vico La Chips. Well, thank you very much, Vico La Chips, for this time. And Merci, Eline. Let's do gaufre. Désolé pour mon accent anglais. So sorry for my French uh, accent and my English But is quite... But it's very sexy, isn't it? Approximative, because uh, it's a long time ago I speak Living English. Living in South of France. Five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> so it's hard. It was really nice. But you can uh, laugh at me. <laughs> I'm You're okay allowed. with that. <laughs> If you enjoy this podcast, please give it a five stars on your favorite platform. It really supports me and then I can interview all the artists of the world until I die. Merci.